All right, this is installment number two of the Rob G 10 watt floodlights. Uh, got all the boards assembled and tested. Um, got my J1 Systems ECGP2 out um, to help me with testing. 350 watt, uh, 12 volt power supply. So basically, I have this wire right here. Um, you probably can't see it, but you got plus and minus, and then you have data in um, from the ECGP2. So that's coming down three core wire, three core wire, and then you got the 343 splitter. So this is four core, um, plus minus data in and data out. So data in comes in, goes around, comes back out, goes to the next one, so on and so forth. Um, Basically what I did is I, I took these four core um, and spliced them into the, the flood. Um, I used a terminal block um, similar to that on the inside. Uh, and it seems to be working pretty well. Um, one suggestion, I, I got a bunch of these, these, these cores. Some of them have different colors. Um, so Rob put a good little schematic of where the pins, you know, what pins should be what on the thread. So make sure you check that out and get your meter out uh, and test continuity on them. Uh, make sure you, you got the right pin. Um, so now let's plug them in. I got the ECGP2 on test pattern. So it'll take it a second to, to start up. But yeah, I'm, uh, it should do RGB here in a second. Uh, test each one of the channels. There we go. Red, green, and blue, baby. I'm actually really surprised at, let me turn off the lights here, at how bright these things are. Um, I'll put them outside at night against the house and see, because I have some street lights and stuff that I think are going to interfere, but, I mean, it's daytime. You got a little bit of spill from the window, but... Uh, it's filling up this room pretty well, um, so I'm pretty happy with these, and uh, we'll see what happens at night. So thanks a lot.